What's up guys? Currently, I'm doing an iron to diamond climb. And throughout this entire climb, I'm gonna be doing informative commentary. And I believe this is probably the best and quickest way you can learn Katarina. I'm gonna go over everything. I'm gonna go over items, matchups, micro, macro, pretty much everything that I can teach you. So if you wanna learn Katarina quick and climb to diamond with me, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Also, if you wanna support the channel, make sure to like and comment for the algorithm. And if you wanna see short clips and random moments, tips that come from this series, make sure to follow me on TikTok. And I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Guys, we are back, and right now we are in silver two, but we're pretty much in gold. They're versing gold players, but I honestly don't even know either because I've played a couple games recently, and there's just I can't tell. Like Smurf Q sometimes, like fucking makes the games hella weird. But um. I think the main focus here is to show first strike because someone in the comments wanted me to play first strike and was asking about it so yeah if we go on first strike magic footwear futures market these two are help you get your spikes sooner and then you got cosmic insight sudden impact and treasure hunter or even more gold so basically you're just looking for your items you're looking to scale essentially you just want to scale Ooh, wait we might be able to get some first strike procs here Okay, never mind, they just walk away. We're also up against an Echo, and this guy just wants to shove mainly. Like but we're, because he's melee, and he mainly just wants to shove, we could probably get a lot of first strikes off of him. So it's pretty good into this matchup, I'd say, in theory. And we're gonna go Dark Seal as well. Dark Seal, pretty good. No going back. You can never really go wrong with Dark Seal. We're gonna go AP build this game. Right off the bat, I do want to just farm some gold. Echo's just probably looking for the, the Q push. And just Q him. Okay, avoid the return. Down to just Q him, honestly. He already popped the potion corrupting. He doesn't have teleport either. Gonna hit two very soon after that minion so we're just gonna chill can't walk up for that minion yep he's gonna go try to punish me for it all right he should have no e maybe no q we're mainly just looking for first strike procs and we can get pretty good first strike procs off of our daggers we can also just queue him a lot too. We can get pretty big first strike procs once we hit level 3. Ooh, I don't think we got that. He was able to hit me first there sadly. Okay, first strike's almost up. Kha'Zix is topside. Ooh, I tried to make him tank tower there. It's pretty um right now. It's fine with me. Should probably ward up topside though, because of Kha'Zix. Should have her first strike up soon again. He used all his pots. Just get first strike procs there. Yep. Looking pretty good. Echo doesn't really have the health here. 
Okay, we can definitely fight for this Guttle here. You have the Orn here as well. Oh. Then we want to go. Okay, we're going to go back mid lane here. Kalik's still here. Okay, just ward up for him. That's fine. Alright, so we're back into mid lane. Helps secure the scuttle for the Nidalee. Echo's probably back in here. So my back timer is a little bit off right now. Okay, he gets that scuttle. Yep. Alright. Now with first strike, your first back, getting the blasting wand, super good. That's mainly what you're looking for. Also, like, Futures Market makes it really easy for you to get, so you're looking for that first, um, that first buy Blasting Wand. Echo's just gonna hard up here, I might lose some minions. And he has a Roam Timer here, so I'm just gonna ping him Mia. But it doesn't look like he has anywhere to go besides maybe top lane. I lose one minion. Gets the, uh, the electrocute off. It doesn't do too much. That's okay if you don't get first strike procs off early on. Just because you're gonna eventually get first strike procs later. Never play. Here we're gonna ward this. He had six here first. So I gotta play a little safely here. Your wave is kind of in this spot and he has a lead. You can't really do much. You gotta just concede. Now luckily the wave isn't like frozen on his side, so that's good. He's gonna play aggressive, but I could just wait. Doesn't matter. Once we get uh, Blasting Wand, Amtome, we should be able to match his push a lot better. Why? Because I can. I'm gonna hit 6 soon too. I mean, he's playing to like pressure me, but... Alkai's here. Only fools. Maybe. Mm. Damn, that's pretty unfortunate. Malkai gets the first blood though, not too bad. Super low. What's pretty good though is that we still have a pretty good amount of gold. Even with first strike, we get the extra little 8900 gold. Help us hit our spikes sooner still so like even if we like die early on or lose a bit of gold we can still try to like stay uh, at least within good gold range okay Pazix was there just gonna look for shove get the move here Gotta be careful for Kha'Zix. Ready for trouble. Bot lane doesn't have really good setup, so roaming bot lane is kind of hard. The only way we can like get like a good gank off is if like they go in on them, right? If like Maokai goes in on them, then we can like start fighting them, but no. it's kind of up to them at that point. Pretty behind in the lane. Oh, my bot lane sees that. 
Don't have all my abilities, so I don't want to push. But Echo's probably just looking for W here. Yep. Kha'Zix top. Even then, there's not much I can do in this position. Echo can, like, hard trade me here. He doesn't get to proc electrocute there at all because he misses Q. Was able to jump over it. We get first strike procs too. Echo's over there. Okay. Echo might look for W. In bottom. It's not much we can do at the moment. Might look for something here. One, because I can. Oh, where's this guy? There he is. I was waiting to see if Echo like walked out of the fog. We ended up not. get the shove in nice so with the uh, blasting one Anton, we can actually get shove in pretty hard pretty quickly so that's probably how we're gonna play out the lane at the moment no going back we don't really have any wards at the moment so I'm guessing like we're mainly just gonna get shoved in doesn't get the electric cube again just jumping over his Q Getting the drag here. Coming. Get rooted here. Echo's gonna come. Okay, that's fine. Okay, just move away from the Echo. Ah, she's gonna kill me there. Can we get anything off this? Ooh, not good. Ooh, we get the Jin though. Okay, not too bad. We can actually go into the Nash here. And the Sword Shoes. It's the beauty of Futures Market and the uh, first strike right there. So we actually hit like a pretty big fucking spike right now. Mm, Orn dies. Let's see, Karma's pretty low. I don't think we go for drag here. But we're pretty strong now since we finally finished our Nash. Actually pretty quick as well. So now at this point you just want to like continue to pressure. Here, if you want to stick around for the drag. There's not much to do at the moment. Can't really push up either. Oh, that was a good steal. I should have been there for that. Sometimes, like, I don't know. This Again, it's a really weird elo. Like, I don't know what people's plans are, really. People just kind of do things. But we get the shove here. Okay, we're just gonna shove back. Okay, we're looking at bottom. Echo's also coming. As long as we keep Echo from roaming here, that's fine. We actually win that situation. Echo's coming down though. Careful. 
We're gonna pressure Echo here by pushing. Okay, they just have to play safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're came out positive in that one. Now, do we go for this drag here? Oh, they're fighting. Okay, we just be patient. Okay, we can force the fight here. Just drag it out. Yep. Kha'Zix might want to jump over. Ooh, I tried to jump over there. Ah, uh, unlucky. I was thinking I could probably get the echo there, but... I like didn't walk close enough to the wall. That was actually a micro mistake. Got a lot of CC to deal with now. Ooh, Zeri. Nice. Not the worst. Alright, we going to our next Blasting Wand. So this situation... Looking a little grim, not gonna lie. I guess in that sense, like, it was pretty hard for us to get the drag. Like, we needed to get it instantly. Then they kind of, like, stalled us off, off out of it. But if we left the drag, like, they would have gotten it. They would have just gotten it for free. I don't know. We don't really have a good comp for it. Also, I probably should have played just a little bit more back, though. So I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, let's go back mid. Again, it's just gonna be a push fest between like me and Echo and just trying to move. Uh, it's pretty hard to fight the Fiora and she has no magic so I, I shouldn't really go up there. Nor can I like really go and, like bot too. Bot's like a pretty hard uh, roam as well. So I feel like I should just like play for my lane. I just gotta push him off of it. I don't think we can contest that. No. Orn doesn't have our four people here. It needs to be a steal, if anything. I'd rather just push mid. As long as bot is okay, just taking the tower and pressuring the, the gin off, it's fine. I think all we can really do right now is just play for lane. Still pretty good damage. Probably kill him there. Would have died in return. I don't know if that'd be worth it actually. Okay, Echo's trolling. Looking pretty good. We were not supposed to get that kill in that go. I think it's good that I didn't kill him initially. Because I think I would have died at the Kha'Zix and they would have taken my tower. So I guess the safer play was to just leave it. And then... Oh, 
Kha'Zix bottom. All right. We have a pretty good lead in the mid lane now. We have our Nash getting into our Proto Belt too. Once we get our Proto Belt, we should be good. But they have a lot of uh, MR if you see here. They have, they all have Mercs. Okay, just get a lot of first strike proc there. Got that Goar as well. Got like a hundred gold from that. Pretty hard of a ward. But now we can ward because Echo doesn't have ult. Now the question is where do we ward though? Ward there. It's pretty dangerous to go for that with the Kha'Zix. So we'd rather just like shove in. Keep Echo there. Alright, so we're getting the Warren TP. So I guess we're going for the dragon play. Only fools hesitate. Never okay. And we're gonna mid lose mid here. We just go for the dive. I'm gonna lose two towers for that. We better get dragged. Do I have to go mid here? Middle East should just go to drag. Was that a mistake on our part? Maybe. I can't. Uh, I don't know where to go. Mid's probably dead already, right? Maybe I should have gone top. We kind of went all in for that, for that play though. That was kind of weird. Wasn't too sure about that, about the dragon play. Maybe I should have stayed mid just a little bit, just so we don't lose two towers here. I don't think it was worth. But I guess we just play for drags now. We have free procs here. Okay, Echo ults. Alright. Now we just wait for a cooldown. Should go. Fiora TP? What's that? Pretty low, so we don't want to go in first. We need someone else to go in first. It's gonna be the Orn. We just lose like a bunch of towers just now. Here sees me. Keep friends close. Now back here. Of course. It was kind of a greedy back. Alright, we're gonna go back into mid lane. Let's see. We need to we need to get this first. 570 on our first strike. We're kind of getting like split pushed. Then we go down here. This fight. Yeah, this is this looks like a good fight. is just pushing and we need someone to we need someone to stick with the fiora and it's not me it's got to be someone else this fiora is just pushing i think we could maybe kill her here though this is kind of a chase but we have proto in five we don't really know where she is either but we're gonna just go top lane if anything why because i over there. Alright, thoughts? Could have been there. 
It's like everyone groups, but I think Orn needs to stay with the Fiora. Maybe we're just like... I don't know, it might be the comp, actually. It might be the comp that we have that's making it a little difficult. Because Orn is our only engage. Like, we can't really do much without the Orn. But then I, sh I have to be in the fights too. So then maybe it's just a comp thing. But we're going to go... Do we go into Zanya's here? Zanya's would be the safer choice. So we'll go Zanya's. And then... Yeah, we'll stick with the yellow trinket. Now we just look for the next fight. But Orn definitely should split with the Fiora. And we need this warded. No going back. Luckily, Jin doesn't get Baron very well. Do we have Dragon coming up in a minute? I guess we're setting up for that. Fiora's getting aggressive. 40 seconds on drag. This is a fight. Coming. We have Proto here. Ah, oh, that's Sapling. We're just pushing our mid lane. Because we have such bad engage, like, we're getting like split to death. It's like pretty bad. Orange just dies here. Really unfortunate. Come on, hold on, hold on. We wait here a little bit. Ooh. Nice. Very good, very good. We had to play that pretty patient. Don't know where Kha'Zix is. Face checking that was kind of ballsy. The Middle East Spear here. Oh, good ward. Okay, we're gonna get the Zanyas anyway. He was he was definitely not gonna kill me actually. I don't know why I did it. Okay, we can get the sweeper here, and then we maybe we could like pressure the drag uh, Baron now. So we're playing for the fourth drag at this point. We really want it. The Infernal drag is going to be pretty big for us. Look, another fight. Maybe we just it really dies here. Hold on, this doesn't look too bad. Okay, fit out the Maokai. Doesn't look too bad, but it's still 4v5. Yeah, okay. Just seeing if we could try to do something off that. Just set up daggers, because we knew like a lot of them were low. Fira out of position. we'll get our first strike. Be back here. Zeko. Okay, we just gotta make sure they don't Baron. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on Baron. First strike has got us a thousand, which is not bad. Now, what are we looking for next item? It's definitely void. It's void. So with Zanyas, we actually lose a bit of damage just because they all have MR. And they get scaling MR with after the durability patch. So at this point, we want void. Is this looking like something? Just push out mid. 
now. Or it needs to go down. Kha'Zix kind of out of the fight. Oh. Okay, we're just weaving in and out right now, doing damage. A lot of gin traps. Damn, couldn't get anything out of that. We still have Zanyas too. Gotta watch out for Jin. Okay, not too bad. We do need our sides pushed. We gotta make sure Zeri doesn't die here. Okay, we just get the wave push. Here these, and then we go back. Definitely Void Staff. If I had Void Staff, I would have killed the Kha'Zix there, I'm pretty sure. See, this game's kind of wild. I don't know what fucking elo we're in anymore. I feel like we're actually playing the game, which is very interesting. It's more fun that way. It's definitely more fun. No going back. Don't think we can get the first on Jin. Oh. Is it something? Am I dead? I'm alive. I was hoping maybe it was Anya is that maybe we can just be okay there, but sadly we couldn't get anything. On top of that, Dragon is up, so that was kind of a bad time to die. Make sure Zeri backs. Don't want to be up there, I'd rather be here. Maybe we can make a pick with Nid. Pretty sure they use everything here. Gotta be careful for Echo. I know Echo's around here. I would have gone if it was just Echo. I don't know if we can actually get this. That was, that was my bad on the play. Pretty sure they're just getting it now. Yep. Yeah, so that was actually my fault. Because I got engaged on mid lane. Should have just played slow. We had to just play slow for the drag. Instead of like causing that fight, you know? Never play fair. Gotta push top lane. How much for void? We need like 1k. Be best if Orn just split top. Or split bot and then I'll be pushing top out I still gotta be careful I don't know what kind of fog play they're trying to do they on it not on it Now we're just waiting for something to happen. We don't really have the first move here. As long as Orin can deal. Oh, they're going for it. Okay. As long as Orin can deal with the Fiora. Thinking of Vic just going in here. Okay. Should be good. Oh, that's big. Really nice. Though, Fiora. It's fine if he ults. Oh, okay. 
I knew Echo was going to go in, so just wanted to go in and uh, pressure him there. I'm going to go back for the... Okay. Oh, we're good. Should be able to get that. Now let's see if we can actually catch Fiora. She might be sitting in the bush. Okay, she doesn't. Just full backs. Just making sure she doesn't greed. We have bot and hip gone. We have no orange TP, so we should like definitely try to pressure bot side. I think I'm just gonna get this. Let's see where this takes us. We get an extra uh, legendary passive on our mythic. I'm not there right now. I don't want them to flip this fight and lose. Oh god. Is this working? This might be working. This is big. Oh, GG. They were able to stall out long enough. It's good. We actually got like a couple stacks on our Medjai's already. Damn, we. I wish mid was pushed out. Or bot lane was pushed out. We can definitely get into here, but I don't know about the end. Now, if we fuck this up, we can actually lose off of bot lane, so we gotta be careful. Ooh. Nice, GG's! Good game, good game. I don't know what the fuck elo we're in, but... Hopefully that walked you through the mindset of at least how to how I played the game. Look at the charts though. I'm actually curious. I'm pretty sure we're in Smurf queue, but I don't know, these players like they're actually like playing safe. Usually in Smurf queue, like people are just so fucking confident and just do the dumbest shit. So I I don't know, I can't tell. This is a rare game. Give it to uh, it's in Italy. Italy played well. Can you believe that was silver two? That this account silver two. Yeah, looking good. It's a pretty good game. First strike doing work.